out. Well, from burned out homes to blighted street corner sections of Detroit, of course, are in bad need of repair and spots. Yeah, and 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith shows us what's being done to take advantage of the, that property. Matt? Yeah, we're talking about Hans Farms. It's an urban farm here in Detroit's east side. This area still has trees planted, but eventually they'll come. And truthfully, after just a few years, the work they've been doing around this square mile neighborhood, well, they're already seeing some of their very first successes. The vandals took over. Gone are the block parties of old, a neighborhood quickly fading. There are no kids now, no neighbors. Mrs. Quinn has lived on this stretch more than 50 years. Times change quickly, but look closely and you'll see a new type of growth. It looks cleaner, better, less dumping. Sometimes look in the mirror and say, how do you, how you keep doing this? This is Hans Farm, an urban farm located in the heart of Detroit. As Mike Score explains, nearly six years in, they planted some 24,000 trees. There's much more to do. We're very patient. That's key. It'll be years till these plants are ready for timber, but the wait is only half of this. The quiet you hear is part of it. The grass is cut, and look at Mike's picture. Yes, that's the same corner where this started, as if someone took an eraser to all the blight. We've seen about a dozen homes listed by a realtor in this neighborhood, and before we started, there weren't any. So that, that's a sign that there's actually a market for the properties now. Meaning the land is becoming valuable again. All that's left is the wait and the return. I don't know if I'll be around to see this block developed or that block developed. It's just a matter of patience. Now, it's not just a waiting game. One of the things they're also doing is they're trying to introduce agricultural education. So those people who've stuck it out, who still live in this community and possibly have kids, will have one more reason to stick around. Hopefully, it'll also get more people interested in moving to the neighborhood down the line as well. We're live in Detroit's east side this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Thank you.